All right, let's head to uh, let's head downriver now, where several communities are working together to redevelop old industrial sites that really used to define those cities. So, Ecorse, River Rouge, Trenton, Riverview, and Wyandotte, all looking for the public to give their opinion on what they'd like to see developed along that Jefferson Avenue corridor. There, the Downriver Community Conference is coordinating this. They have a grant to help make this happen. Jasmine Dancy from the DCC joins me now to talk about all the opportunities and what they want to do. Jasmine, it's really good to see you. Thanks for being with me. Good afternoon, Christy. Thanks so much. All right. Why don't you go ahead and back up a little bit, Jasmine, and explain what the DCC has been working on this past year or so and, and kind of moving forward. That's right. So we've gone through a couple of strategic planning sessions since we even received notice of two coal-fired power plant closures in our corridor back in 2016. Um, so our most recent round of strategic planning was in partnership with the University of Michigan Economic Growth Institute, and that was completed in 2022. Um, and through that process, those five communities you mentioned is our key corridor. And they were actually went through the process and proposed projects that they saw would be able to revitalize the economy of this corridor uh, pending those closures of the, of the power plant. So Using those projects that were specifically recommended by our city partners, we were able to apply for and receive the grant through the EDA, the Economic Development Administration. And that grant has three main goals. The first is to establish an economic development office for the region. The second is to facilitate a small business technical assistance program. And then the third goal was to actually develop a strategy for the re redevelopment of industrial sites along the riverfront. Um, and so with that third goal, we've hired a uh, consultant to, to help us in that process. And we've been doing some information gathering and looking across the corridor with those five cities. You know, they all have their own plans and policies in place. So we're kind of trying to zoom out a little bit and look at this region as a core. Think about how Down River has been, you know, identified over the years as really as an industrial hub. And then when you see a lot of this change and go away and it's like now, how can we take advantage of the water? What do we really want for our communities to be able to have this coordination here? Um, talk a little bit about um, not how difficult, but maybe some of the challenges of making sure that when you get five communities all on the same page to say, let's make something that there is some continuity of what we have along this corridor been really encouraged at the participation, the engagement, and um, enthusiasm of all five of our cities. They've really been uh, on board and provided multiple different community contacts to, to partner with us. We have strategy team meetings several times a year, and uh, it's just to see everyone thinking regionally is so encouraging. So, Jasmine, give us a sense of what you want to hear from people, because this is a huge part of it. You can't have organizations come or, and you can't say, well, this is what we're going to put here. Um, being able to hear the input from, from people who live along this stretch and what could be here over the next 50 years, what do you expect to hear from people or what are people talking about? Well, um, so we have with our uh, consultant, we've identified like kind of four key project zones throughout the corridor. And next week, we're going to be having uh, two open community meetings. Um, they're open house style. You can come anytime between 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday and Wednesday. And uh, those are not just open to the residents of the corridor. We know that the potential and the future redevelopment of this uh, waterfront corridor is going to affect all of Down River and South Coast Michigan. So uh, we want to hear from the people that live there, work there, are in the area. Um, and we consider the public really just as much as of a partner in this uh, initiative as ourselves at the Down River Community Conference and our consultant team. Um, no project can be successful without the input of the public. You know, people can give their input in what they want to see, but the reality is these sites have to be cleaned up. They have to be ready for investment. And then you have to find, um, you know, companies or you have to find other entities that want to invest down there. And Down River is no different from any other region around the state who's looking for that investment and looking to bring people in. How difficult of uh, maybe regional competition is it to be able to land things to, to come in this area? That's true. Um, you know, with these brownfields, they've been uh, vacant for, for generations in some cases. So um, it, it definitely is a challenge, but I feel like um, we are really starting to see some momentum. Our, our brownfield redevelopment program at the DCC 
is heralded by the EPA. Um, we've got uh, we've won awards for for the projects that we've been doing already, and so now we're really we've got great partners on board. We've got buy-in from the community and the cities, um, and I feel like we're all starting to you know row in the right direction all together, and um, you know really put a spotlight on Downriver. Uh, you know also with your help, you know thank you for continuing to to highlight this program. All right, so we do have those opportunities for public comment. Tell us, Jasmine, where things will go from here and what do you expect in terms of a, of a timeline over the next year or so? Yeah, so this part of the project does, to, it is going to be going over uh, the rest of this year, um, all of 2024. We are going to have a couple other uh, public meeting sessions later in the fall and then into the winter again. Um, so there's continued uh, opportunities for people to kind of keep, uh, keep an eye on, on what is going on, but uh, just a lot more uh, information gathering research, and then we'll be talking with property owners um, and trying to match up, uh, you know, kind of mediate the whole process with the property owners, the public, and also funding sources. Like you said, that's going to be a big barrier, but um, there's so much funding out there available right now, and we're all trying to uh, match up the, the means and the money and uh, you know, actually see some viable projects. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to continue to follow this. Jasmine Dancy from the Down River Community Conference, thanks so much for joining me. We appreciate it. We'll check back in with you as this progresses. Thank you so much. And if anyone likes, they can reach me at economicdevelopment at dccwf.org. Thank you, Christine. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll make sure that all that information is up on clickondetroit.com. So if people want to get to that meeting and learn more about what's happening, that they can yes. see it there. Thanks, Jasmine. We'll see you soon.